Oh, I think we're done. Wait. You got something else? No, I'm fine. Wait, what? What do you want to talk about? Nothing. I'm here. I just thought we were out. I'm not. I just had a dream, but I'll tell you about it later. Tell me about your dream. You clearly ha- came here with an agenda. To tell me about your dream. We weren't friends anymore. Oh, okay. Was it a premonition or a dream? I don't know. Like I became like really like this big time rapper, and I. Oh, like... that's a yeah. That didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> that definitely didn't happen. What that's if not... I just? I feel like one day I'm gonna. What get... kind of rap? A like, rap. Like gangster rap. I don't know what kind of. I wasn't rapping in my dream. Okay, I thought. But I, I do have a premonition that I'm like, I feel like I'm going to be like a Jimmy Fallon and I'm going to just have to leave this show and I feel bad because you're so nice to me. You're going to move up. You're going to ascend to late night and say, Ethan, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm the next. We've had a good thing, <laughs> but I have to leave you behind. Eventually we're going to have to part ways. And when, when, when is that going to happen? And what's going to happen? Like, I'll feel bad if that's you. Like, what if you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm pretty content. I'm not looking to move up anywhere. I feel like that's the problem with me. I'm never content. I always think I'm going to be doing better and bigger things. So you're going to be, your plans to be a rapper because I don't see that. Your plans to be late night. I don't see that either. I think both with peace and love. A rapping late night host. Yeah, did Arsenio Hall do that? You can be on the show forever. No, I don't think so, and I feel bad. I'd be very happy for you if you ascended to... Uh, like, I'm the next Post Malone. That leaves you. I'm like, oh, I'm too famous for Ethan. Bye. Oh, yeah. That did happen with Post. You think that's why? I don't know why Post never stopped talking to me. I, when I see that, I like your old vlogs will pop up now because I like watch them. So they always pop up and I see I'm like, this is crazy. He like went to your guys' show and stuff. Oh, like, we were like show. such... Like, I'm not... I would never say a bad thing about him. No, I know. But here's the thing. Like, that'd be like me just being like, but, I'm never talking to you again. Bye. I mean, on, look. So here's the thing about Post Malone. On a personal level, as someone I consider like a close friend, it did it kind of it did hurt my feelings. But on the other end, I understand that his life is so crazy and so fast paced and he's just surrounded by all these people all the time. And he's his life is moving so fast that I understand. I understand. I understand. I don't hold any grudge. What happened? How did it like nothing happened? Did you, just, were you like trying to text them and you just like weren't hearing back? He like goes to you. Yes. Pretty much. No, that does hurt. You know who doesn't do yeah. that is Adam Sandler. He's had his same friend group, Alan Covert. He's his executive producer in all the movies. He has all his little it's, group. Look, in it's his not movies. like we grew up together because po- I know Post is really loyal to like his friend oh. who we grew up with. So it's like I'm not. I didn't like grow up with him, you know. But we had like you a really like fun, big good Nick. friendship. And he was like yeah, David Dobrik. Yeah, I was the big. You Nick were like bigger group. than him at the time, so he's like, oh, I got this little come up with like H three. He was having his friends make out with me too, which was weird. I didn't understand why. <laughs> You guys were like in a private jet with him. No, we were, we were, we were like, we were like very good friends. I think that's where my dream came from because I was watching that before I went to bed. And then I was like, oh, I also became like a rapper and I like left you. Like that was a oh, real dream. Oh, you were post Malone. Swear on that though. Like I swear on that, that that was real. You know, the, like, it just, it, it does make me a little sad because like, you know, just because we were friends and that's it. I mean, that's And you don't have like a lot of friends. No, exactly. No, you're like, fuck, I lost his like, friend. But it's fine. Like I said, I don't have any, and well, I have nothing but nice things to say about the guy. He's a sweetheart. And, um, you know, I wish him well. It's not, there's really no ill will at all. He's like. He just got too. I, 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 it makes sense. Like, he, he became, his rise to fame, like, when I met him, he was like, didn't even put out his first album, you know? And so I saw this gradual, like, uh road this like crazy stardom not like but he's like the one of the biggest artists in the country you know so like he just he got kind of more and more distant as he got more and more famous and i think it's just because his life was just too fast-paced and crazy he was working and he's there's just like i don't know you're like a sad teddy bear right now your eyes are like the thing is i don't i don't want anyone to think ill of him because I don't. No, we are pro Post Malone on this podcast. Yeah. Maybe he'll be the next Bachelor on H3. (laughs) I'm pretty sure. No. Can you imagine? That'd be fucking crazy. Who do you think would be better, Post Malone or Papa John as the Bachelor? As much as I'd like to say Papa John, I don't think that we're in the right age bracket for Papa. My mom would apply. She's single. Okay. Anyone else? (laughs) What? Moses' mom. Just all the moms battle. I don't see it. <laughs> Can I say that? I don't know. We can bleep her out if I'm not supposed to say it. Sorry. Um, but we have single moms out there. 
He there, like there'd yeah. be a lot of women that would be very I happy you're to date right. Papa John. There's age appropriate women. I'm not saying that, but like I mean, he's like 55 or some shit. I mean, it's just not our demo. I think he'd be surprised. Okay, Papa, if you're out there, or post, or post. Do you need help finding a date? Can I will screen them though because I'm a female and I feel like with peace and love, your interns are not the best at screening people for I these agree. shows. I will screen By the them. Way, I agree with you. They were awful. I was like, out, wow. Though. Maybe it's good they didn't find anyone that good because look, maybe if they found someone that was like kind of good, maybe this wouldn't happen. Maybe just nobody good applied. <laughs> That's what I kind of said, I but she so. doesn't want to hear that. No, because there were people who DM me and like I applied, but never went on the show. And they were like lawyers and doctors. And I was like, where do these people come from? Listen. Just because they weren't entertaining I think they're lying. for the show, like a I think character. I think, I think they're lying. I think they're lying. I don't think so. Like, during, so during that time, I was Ian, checking my DMs. Ian, Ian, you were going over those. We Do you have anything to say for yourself? If there were doctors oh. and lawyers, we would have put them in. I think they just weren't as entertaining. Well, Dude, some we me. put in for mm. sure. Listen, some we absolutely put in because they were entertaining. Because it's a show. I mean, come on. You, you have to expect that. But... We put in plenty of respectable candidates. There was not too. one. There was well, like eighteen. These are the people college. that applied. Just, I, I don't know what to tell you. These like, are the I'm people 18, who applied. I'm in college. I'm, but I don't know why. Why did you guys put eighteen year olds in college? Because you said who, you wanted who broke losers. The show. I said age appropriate. I said twenty seven. Like Jay, I'm agreeing with what you were. Or no, I guess it was Ethan that was saying. This is our demo. Like <laughs> these are the people who wanted to date you. Yeah. I will. I will reach out to my demo for you, Papa John or Post Malone. I will find my my people okay. for yeah, you. Well, it's a different demo now. Let's lower. Let's let's lower our. Our standards for the bachelor bit. Let's say maybe sh Shredder. Who's that? My dog. Dog dating. Oh, my dog will apply. He needs a friend or a boyfriend. Shredder's looking to fuck. He's not looking for friends. Well, I think my dog is gay. Can I say that? I don't know. I think he is. Yeah, do I mean, dogs seem, don't seem to care. They're just they'll hump anything. They're just happy. Shredder to be was humping Alfredo over here. Oh, like 20 yeah, you made a whole ago. big deal about it. Homophobia. Okay, that was like brothers. They're like not first of all, they're not biologically related. So, and Shane comped his cat. You didn't care about it then. I did not know about that. <laughs> you did it. Well, he says he was joking, but I, I don't think so. You heard the recording. Peace and love. Let's not joke about bestiality or anything with children. Right. That might be like crossing the line. Right. I think we're done now. <laughs> Is there anything else? So you have no other friends. I have a few friends. I don't want to yeah. name them. Yeah, I have a few friends, but what do you do? You do you see them, or you just talk on the phone, or text, or how we do you text, and sometimes we hang out during like not that much, honestly. Maybe a few times. Are a they year. your age? Yeah, they're all my age. Do you talk to your brother a lot? I mean, I talk to my. I have like a family chat with my family, and we all talk there. So you don't just call him and no. Your brother seemed very normal and very. He's a great guy. I love my brother. You should be friends with him. Okay. Look, he's my brother. I mean, he's my brother. What my sister is my only girlfriend that I have. Yeah, some people have that relationship, and my brother's my brother. It's not like, you know.